The KMT's defeat in the presidential and legislative election highlighted the need for reform within the party. KMT headquarters came under attack from regional party offices as well as the KMT Youth League, who called for a debate over major issues as well as the party's structure. And most importantly, many hope the party can relax qualifications for candidacy for the party chairmanship. Re-elected KMT Taichung legislators Zhang Qichen and Yan Guan Hung called upon KMT headquarters to thoroughly review the party's defeat in the recent election. They also asked to relax regulations regarding the party chairman candidacy. At this time, if we do not undertake reform, I think the KMT may be swept into the ashes of history. For the party chairman election, the required deposit is limiting those who wish to participate. It's not an issue of generational change, as there is no new generation. Similarly, the KMT Youth League is also calling for major reforms. For the party to solve the problem of party assets, the first thing the KMT has to do is take the initiative to propose related acts. Secondly, it must thoroughly check its history of party assets. And thirdly, it must allow citizens the opportunity to supervise the entire process. Today, the KMT Central Standing Committee passed a resolution to delay the KMT chairman election for one more month, with a vote scheduled for March 26th.